2 Chronicles chapter 13 In the eighteenth year of King Jeroboam's reign, Abijah ascended to the throne of Judah. He ruled from Jerusalem for a period of three years. Abijah's mother was Micaiah, the daughter of Uriel from Gibeah. During his reign, a conflict erupted between Abijah and Jeroboam. Abijah prepared for battle, assembling an army of four hundred thousand valiant men, carefully chosen for their combat skills. On the other side, Jeroboam mustered an opposing force of eight hundred thousand mighty and skilled warriors. Standing atop Mount Semiraim in the Ephraimite Mountains, Abijah addressed Jeroboam and all of Israel. He reminded them of the covenant established by the Lord God of Israel, which granted the kingdom over Israel to David and his descendants forever, symbolized by a covenant of salt. Abijah condemned Jeroboam's rebellion, noting that he had gathered wicked men who opposed Rehoboam, Solomon's son, when he was young and vulnerable. Jeroboam had set up golden calves as gods for the people, leading them away from the true worship of the Lord. Furthermore, Jeroboam had expelled the priests of the Lord, the sons of Aaron and the Levites, replacing them with priests after the manner of foreign nations. Abijah affirmed the loyalty of Judah to the Lord, with priests who faithfully served him by offering daily sacrifices, incense, showbread, and tending the golden candlestick. Abijah declared that God himself was their captain, and the priests sounded trumpets as an alarm against Jeroboam and Israel. He warned the children of Israel not to fight against the Lord God of their fathers, as they would not prosper. However, Jeroboam had devised an ambush against Judah, surrounding them from the front and rear. When Judah saw they were encircled, they cried out to the Lord, and the priests sounded their trumpets. At that moment, the men of Judah raised a great shout. In response, the Lord struck Jeroboam and all of Israel before Abijah and Judah. The Israelites fled before Judah, and God delivered them into the hands of Abijah. Abijah and his army inflicted a significant defeat on the Israelites, resulting in the deaths of 500,000 chosen men from Israel. Thus, the children of Israel were brought under Judah's authority during this time, thanks to their reliance on the Lord God of their fathers. Abijah pursued Jeroboam, capturing cities from him, including Bethel, Jeshana, and Ephraim, along with their towns. Jeroboam never regained his strength during Abijah's reign. Ultimately, the Lord struck Jeroboam, and he passed away. Abijah's reign was marked by increasing might and influence. He married fourteen wives and fathered twenty-two sons and sixteen daughters. Additional details about Abijah's life and reign can be found in the writings of the prophet Iddo.